So let me start off this video by saying this is not clickbait. dating one of Train's good friends. So she basically told me, she's like, I'm not gonna hang out with him for a lot of the game, but let me go say hi. So I was like, okay, so we walk over there. Turns out they were gonna hang out for a lot of the game. And so then I got stuck with his friends who are actually some of my close friends too. And Train was there as well. And apparently that entire football game, he was telling Montana that it was supposed to be a guy's night. I did not know. So a couple days later, I get on Instagram and I see that Montana had posted a picture of her and Train and the caption said, and I quote, It's come to my attention that some uglies think they can make a move on my man since we've had a rough patch. I'm here to crush those dreams and let them know this boy is mine. And just because I look small and innocent doesn't mean I can't throw some hands. So here's some spam of me and my beautiful boyfriend in our amazing relationship. Have a great day! <laughs> so not only is she accusing me of trying to steal her man, but she is also saying that she would throw down on me and saying that I'm ugly. Wow, how nice. I can understand where she would be mad that, of course, like she wanted to talk to him and then some girl was hanging out with her boyfriend when he said that it was supposed to be a guy. I can understand that. Um, what I can't understand is saying that she will fight me. If your boyfriend is doing something that you don't like, deal with him. I'm just trying to be friends and I was there because my best friend was with her boyfriend. I wasn't trying to make a move on him. Plus, the guy that I liked was standing right next to me. So, let me show you some texts that I actually texted Train after that Instagram post had just come up. I said, dude, I just want to let you and your girlfriend know I don't like you and I don't want to get involved in your relationship. And if it's creating issues for you guys, just let me know and we can stop being friends. Oh, believe me, I've told her that so many times, but she feels threatened because she thinks you're cuter than her. So she doesn't like me talking to you, but nah, it's all good, don't worry. We've known each other for like years now. Also, my best friends are guys, Spencer, Tanner, Dominic, Spencer has a girlfriend, and me and her are actually good friends. I'm like a... <laughs> yeah, I don't get why she's being so defensive. I'm like, bro, chill out. And exactly. But she still believes that you like me, and it's really annoying, not gonna lie. If you could, like, talk to her about it, that'd be cool, too. I don't really want to get involved, so I said, she called me ugly and said she'd throw down on me. So I'm not really in the mood to talk to her. Thanks, but no thanks. Amber's gonna talk to her to try to straighten things out. But I thought this was really funny because I actually made a video about this a while ago. Apparently, the only reason why Train and Montana are still together is because Train is jealous that Montana is going to go for concrete. My ex-boyfriend concrete that broke up with me on Facebook. Go check that video down below if you haven't seen that. It's so funny. <laughs> but oh my god, I would not wish them on anybody else. Not even concrete. So the whole situation with Montana kind of like sizzled down, um, but me and Train continued to be friends. So this brings us to yesterday. Fun! <laughs> so yesterday I was still talking to Train, sent him a selfie of some sort, I don't even remember what it said, like it didn't, really didn't matter. And he screenshot it. I go and I ask him like, hey, why did you screenshot that photo? Like, what was it of? I forgot. And he responds back with a picture of himself saying, because I think you looked cute in it. I get a text from him. This is the climax of the story, guys. <laughs> the climax of the story. Hey, do you have a universal pass? I was thinking maybe you and I could go sometime. Yeah, I do. Sounds fun. Do you want to invite some other people? Nah, I want to get to know you. Is that going to cause any problems us hanging out? Nah, I took care of Montana. She's getting out of control. I can't deal with her anymore, to be honest. Do you mind hanging out with me? Because I think you're pretty chill and pretty cool. Too, I don't see the harm. Yeah, we can hang out. I just don't want to start drama. 
What do you mean you took care of Montana? Eh, don't worry about her. She's just been annoying me recently. I don't think I want to be with her anyways. And also, I just think you're super cute, so I want to chill with you, you know? If you're gonna continue to date, then this will cause problems in the future. I feel like we shouldn't hang out unless it's officially over, considering how she's reacted to certain things. She doesn't have to know. So if I break up with her, you'll give me a chance? I thought you were hella cute since crew. I'm going into a doctor's appointment right now, but I'll take you to you back afterwards. But hey, I'm back. Hi, did you give what you said some thought? What I was trying to say is that I'll hang out with you if you two aren't together, because I don't want to be in the middle of drama. We will see where things go, but I'm not telling you I'm giving you a chance because I'm honestly not sure. I'm, I'm not saying no or yes. Be honest, do you want me? Because I need to be 100% sure to drop her for you. <laughs> what? I literally called my friend and was like, this guy is kind of psychotic. Give me a call later and I'll explain what I'm trying to say. Hey, about the call thing, I'm really not good at calls. Can we just stick to text because I have anxiety when talking on the phone for some reason? You aren't understanding what I'm trying to say though. For me, it's easier to talk on the phone, but sure. I wanted to talk on the phone because I'm skeptical slash worried that this is all just you playing with me and Montana is behind it to prove a point. I understand you're skeptical, but I really cannot do phone calls. I'm sorry. I really do want to get to know you, Bailey, but I need to know if you share the same interests before I spend time on this. Oh, lol, BTW, Montana has nothing to do with this. Trust me, she might be crazy, but she's not that bad. My concern is that I don't want you to break up with Montana for me. Like, I want you to break up with her because you're unhappy in that relationship. And I don't want to get to know you while dating her because then you'll just feel tied down to her and that's not fair to her and it's not fair to you either. What I was trying to say there was that, uh, that was cheating. <laughs> And I'm not going to go on a date with somebody knowingly that they are cheating on their girlfriend. I'm unhappy with her and I've been for a while. What I'm asking is do you like me enough that I'll find you there for me when she's not a part of the picture? <laughs> so I say, I think the message of this whole conversation got mixed up down the line. I just want to say that yes, I will go on a date with you if you're single. But I'm not going to go on a date with you if you're dating someone. A date doesn't mean we are dating. There is no way of telling if we like each other in that sort of way until we get to know each other more. I think you need to take one situation at a time. If you are unhappy, end it for your sake. And this? This is when I get pissed off. <laughs> I am playing with you, but Montana doesn't know about this. LOL, she would kill me. You and Amber just seemed super off, and I just wanted to get to the truth. I'm done with both of y'all's bullshit, and I'm done talking with y'all's too. It's this morning. This, this, this motherfucking morning. I go, dude, what the f***? Do you even understand what I was saying? What a dick. And he said, did you not say you want me to break up with her to be with you? And I was like, <laughs> I literally, I literally put in quotations. I do not want you to break up with Montana for me. Like that's literally what I said. What I was trying to say was if you wanted to go on a date with anyone, whether it was me or anyone, break up with your girlfriend. I wasn't going to just say yes to dating a guy I don't like. You are a complete dick if you are going to say that's unethical or unmoral. Because you obviously don't understand how the real world works. You go on a date to see if you like them, then continue. You don't just like them off the bat. We, re we were really cool friends and you had to play this shit up because you what? Wanted to test Amber and I? What you did was unethical. Like I said before, I don't like you. That's what I was trying to get at. I don't have to explain myself further. And then I have read his text and I go, no! I said, I didn't! In quotation, I don't want you to break up with Montana for me. I want you to break up with her because you aren't happy. You're crazy. All of you are crazy. Why did I ever become friends with any of you? The whole reason that started is because Train and Montana both kept coming to Amber and I and trying to get us to like give them advice on their relationship that they would never end up taking. So we told them, if you are really this unhappy, break up with each other. That's not fair. It's not fair to either of you. It's not fair to me and Amber if you're not taking our advice and we're constantly trying to tell you our advice, but you can't ask someone's opinion and then be like, no, that's wrong. Like, it's an opinion. So he was trying to see if me and Amber were off because we were trying to give our opinion that they asked for in the first place. The whole point of this video 
that I'm trying to get to you guys is that I have been put in situations like this before. I have been constantly harassed online. I have been constantly put in a wrong place where I didn't deserve to be put in in the first place. And I'm sure plenty of you can relate to that. There's no reason for you to get messed up in a situation when people ask for your advice or they do something wrong and then they blame it on you. I have constantly, my entire life, I have always been playing defense rather than offense. People would get in fights with me and they would start bringing up past things that didn't even matter and trying to blame it on me when really the root of the problem is themselves. And I want to get to you guys that things are going to happen like this and I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not playing defense anymore. Haters are going to hate. <laughs> But I want to get to the point that if people are trying to harass you and they're trying to make you in the wrong when you know you aren't, it's a frustrating situation. Just stand up for yourselves. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take my advice. Even if you don't think people are there for you, they are. And that's where this whole community of us, of us chickadees, <laughs> come into play. So leave a comment down below, tell me what you think about this situation. Um, I will see you guys, rocker, later. Peace out, love you guys. Bye!